What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 12.1.3 beta 4 just a few days after releasing beta 3. So yeah, it seems that Apple is back to moving very swiftly with these beta releases. We did have a big time frame, you know, a big gap in between beta 2 and beta 3, but that was mainly because of the holidays. But it seems that now Apple is back to pumping out these updates very regularly. So yeah, we have beta 4 here and as you can see, it is also a small update just like beta 3 at 104 megabytes here on my iPhone 10 R which of course did come from beta 3. So let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and then talk about if anything has changed at all here in beta 4. So you can see right here, the build number is 16D5039A. And given the last two build numbers, there's a very good chance that this is the GM build and that we'll be seeing the final version of 12.1.3 being released next week. And we'll touch on that more near the end of the video, but let's talk about what else has changed here with beta 4 besides just the build number. So the first thing that I noticed here with beta 4 that changed is the modem firmware got updated to 1.0.3 0.08 so it was at 0.7 before now it's at 0.8 so if you were having issues with cell connectivity then you definitely want to go ahead and update to beta 4 because this could definitely fix anything that you had any kind of issues you had on beta 3. now i personally haven't had any issues with beta 3 but i have been reading on forums that people were having their cells signal cut out people were having their wi-fi drop and everything on beta 3. it seems to just be a consistent thing it seems to not even matter if new updates get released this has been going on since 12.1.1 so not sure if it's ever going to end but we did get the modem firmware update here with beta 4. now another thing that people talked to me about a lot when i made my beta 3 video was my photo so people were asking me if my photos got deleted and i can confirm that no no photos got deleted uh, i think that was just you know people saw iDevice helps video and kind of just figured that it was a widespread thing I don't think so. I mean, I don't know if it happened to anybody else. So no, no photos were missing from this update. Uh, I don't believe I've ever seen that before with an iOS update. So you don't have to worry about updating, you know, in, in the future and thinking you're going to lose your photos. That's just not going to happen. There's a very low chance of that happening to you. Now, another thing that somebody in my comment section mentioned is that the scrolling kind of feels different. People kind of agreed with them as well in the comment section that the scrolling, for some reason, the effect that it has feels different on their device. Now, I can't really say that it feels different to me, at least not on the 10R. You know, it could have something to do with the whole Qualcomm lawsuit and everything, but if you've noticed anything different with scrolling, if it just feels different, doesn't feel natural to you, let me know down in a comment below because it feels the same to me, but it seemed like some people were saying that the scrolling did feel a little bit different starting with beta three. Now, another change in beta four, and it's actually not beta four, it's beta three as well, it happened in beta three, is that these settings don't seem to be freezing anymore if you did delete default application. So since like 12.1.2 and then into 12.1.3, the betas, settings would sometimes freeze if you deleted any of the default applications, but it doesn't seem to be the case anymore. And I actually experienced this settings freezing only one time, and it was on, I believe like beta two of iOS 12.1.2, but it never happened again. But according to forum posts, it seems to have been fixed in beta three. But yeah, aside from that, the performance and the battery life are gonna be the exact same as 12.1.3 beta three. And overall 12.1.3, the battery life and the performance performance feels exactly the same as 12.1.2. So don't expect any kind of big change there. And do notice that we do still have the feedback application. So uh, this may or may not be the GM build. It's kind of hard to say, but I would expect the final release of iOS 12.1.3 either next week or the following week. And then after 12.1.3 gets released, I'm hoping that we will get iOS 12.2, the first beta of 12.2, but just stay tuned to the channel for all of that. So yeah, that is it for 12.1.3 beta four. If you installed this, let me know how it's running for you down in the comment section below if you're running any other version of 12.1.3 let me know down in the comment below how it has been treating your device and if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe for a lot more ios beta updates but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon